Hi guys, so welcome back to the Team House Riot channel and this week is a very special week on the channel because one of our birthdays recently passed and can you guess who it is? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? The girl that posts the day before me. Her birthday was on the 4th. Actually, you probably can because I'm the last person to post so I'm actually very late in the game on this. It's Nina! It's her birth week and we're just gonna celebrate her for who she is. Nina! The cute one, Dark darkest of all of us. Is that racist to say? I can say that. Has really cute hair, recently just cut it all off and it looks fucking bomb as shit. She turned 22, she's feeling 22. I made a Taylor Swift joke. I'm sure everybody else also probably made that joke. I hate Taylor Swift a lot though, so. If you can't tell, I obviously have no fucking idea what I'm doing today and what I'm gonna say. Like, no clue. No, this is not planned. I'm just gonna talk about Eno because that's what this week is all about. I think a good place to start is how we met. So I'm pretty sure we all met Nina on the same day, which was Baltimore We're All Right tour. I might have met her before that, but like I distinctively remember meeting her that day because she had a Ninja Turtles backpack. And I was like, yo, I like that. And she was like, thanks. And then she walked away with a group of friends and I was like, I don't like her. She just walked away from me. I was kind of talking to her, but look at how far we've come. The next time we saw her was actually that night was we went to get food because you know we are all starving teenage girls. So we were all hungry so we're like oh let's go to Applebee's. So you know we go to Applebee's we walk in and Restless Road is sitting there with Nina, her friends, I don't know their names, I really didn't pay attention that much. It might have been the That's My Story girls. I wasn't in the best mood that night actually just in general. I don't know why. Oh no I remember why. Oh that was a bad night. The show was great though. Baltimore, great city. So then we saw them again. They were sitting with Restless Road. I'm pretty sure they interviewed them that day as well. They were sitting with them and like, I was just kind of like, oh, of course they weren't with them. They don't like us. And Caitlin was like, yay, because she loves them. And Ellie was like, yay, because she loves them. It was a good time. And then there was karaoke night. So obviously, Restless Road being the talented ass motherfuckers they are sang. Nina and Ali should have sang. We tried to get Ali to sing. She, she wouldn't do it. We, we tried so hard. She, she would not do it. After that, I didn't really, I don't think I kept in touch with Nina, but Allie definitely did. Allie and Nina got really, really close. And for the longest time, I was like, eh, about her. Cause like, I had just heard so many like weird things from the Weekend Riot fandom. So I was iffy about it. I remember in Celebration, uh, she was FaceTiming Nina and I was just like, I hate my life. I want to go to the beach and we got to go to the beach. We never did. We never went to the beach and I'm really upset about it. We should go to the beach again. It takes me a long time to warm up to people in general. So it took me a little bit to actually warm up to the idea of having another member in House Riot. Cause like we've gone, we've gone through people like here and there and not in neg I don't think it was normally in a negative way. I don't really know. I don't address these kind of things. I'm not the person that makes executive decisions. Not my life. I just do this and I don't do it that well. So I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Nina, topic, priorities, Nina, yes. And I was kind of the person that like made us wait to add her. But eventually I was like, okay, let's add her because I like her. It was weird because it was kind of like a 180 with me and her because I was like, so like, no. And then I was all of a sudden like, yes. So, cause like, as I got to know her, I realized that she's like a genuinely like really good person. Like she gives so many fucks about so many people. And on the opposite, I give zero fucks about like zero people. So we balance each other out really well. We like a decent amount of things that are similar. Like we're both Mikey girls, which I try to convince her that she's a Callum girl somehow, but she's not, but she's also a Mikey girl. Which means that we obviously have the same taste in most things because like, he's so great. But do you know what else is great? Nina's great. As I got to know her, I like grew to really love her as a person. I like got to know like all the layers that is, I'm gonna describe her as Kate. She's got that nice chocolate frosting cause she's got that nice exterior. That like, you know it's sweet, you know it's great. But like, you're like, I don't know if I wanna cut into that yet but you should because there's so many layers and it's just so great because when you cut into that, what you think is it just a chocolate cake? Oh, it's not just a fucking chocolate cake. There's fucking pudding inside. There's like three different flavors because she's got so many aspects of her life together. She is literally like my mom. No, not my mother, but she's definitely the mom of the group. She like takes care of all of us. Like when we're all together, she like doesn't let me pay for things. Yeah, I called you out on it. You don't let me pay for things and I don't fucking like it, so like, there's just like a lot of really, really great things about her and I really, 
really genuinely have come to love and care for her because she's just a really, really good person. I'm not good with words and emotions, so I'm just gonna be like, I love you and I love you a lot. So I just like have really come to love and care about her and like whenever I'm upset, she'll always text me and be like, hey, are you okay? We were supposed to hang out on Friday and eat Chinese food and watch movies and be sad and watch, I don't know if I'd be sad, but like we were supposed to do really cute things. I wanted to bake her a cake and bring it to her. I don't think we're hanging out anymore. Maybe we can hang out Saturday. Hey Nina, you wanna hang out Saturday? Yay! Nina, I love you lots. And I hope you have a great year because you deserve it. Because you're an amazing person. And I love you. So that's it for this week. I know this week was probably a little iffy on some of my content due to the fact that I kind of suck at talking about people. But, you know whatever. I hope that doesn't make you not want to subscribe or like below because, you know, it's Nina's birthday, so you should do it. So, ha, huh, got that. And I will see you all next week. No, I can't guarantee that I'll see all of you next week. But I hope to see you all next week, and I hope you have a great day. And Nina, I hope you had an amazing birthday, and I cannot wait to see you again, and it's just gonna be a ball ass we could go to the beach again. We should go to the beach again. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go to the beach again. So, I will see you guys next week. Bye! I look dumb doing this. My previous? My previous. <laughs> Today? <sighs> okay. No? Whatever. My dog just talked. <laughs>